in last video tutorial we discuss about uh, companies in this video tutorial we discuss about uh, user and groups my name is Azaslim and uh, we are learning out of 14 complete uh, series so first of all let's discuss about users this group translation technical it's showing us because I active my developer mode if I uh, deactive it will not show us so first of all go to users here we have to user which is coming by our demo data and this one we created at the time when we create our database and uh, create our companies end user okay for new user what's required here name email and here is the access rights if you want to give this user access in its internal or portal or public user about portal and public we'll discuss later currently we will use this internal user and uh, sales you want to give him access on documents only for example if an accountant make uh, some sales <coughs> some vouchers or payments or anything related to sale only these documents he can um, use or see all documents mean all access other accountants uh, watchers or data entry also this person or this user can edit see your watch read each and everything and administrator meaning you have full access you can do everything so if you make choose this empathy it means this user which we are going to make he don't have access of sales so I'm giving access as administrator same point of sale invoicing manufacturing and administrator see administrator is empty means you don't have a access on administrator this technical as I told you before in this technical and this one is uh, appear here because we active our developer mode if we deactivate our develop mode it will not show here so we can uh, show some more um, features or some more fields of form using our technical let's say for example manage lots number and see it's already active multiple unit of measurements I'm um, acting this this one we will use at the time of um, sales which is inventory <coughs> manage package product variants it will be used in inventory quotation template already is here sales receipt let's uh, active this one okay uh, multi company let's say analytic accounting I will active later then we'll see what is the difference <coughs> for this user I'm talking only for this user not uh, we log in at with this user testing user email is testing user and the gmail.com okay here we have purchase dashboard if you want to show him purchase dashboard as a manager okay, let's make it and in HR management our human resources we give access as an administrator here inventory and purchase now currently we are creating this uh, user by all administrator level access 
when we make some entries we will disable some uh, permissions or like uh, purchase inventory then we will see what uh, will happen here one more thing if you notice here this one is the lowest access right highest at the end the last one is the highest access right if you came here uh, in first run and make it empty this user is not able to access point of sale and uh, in invoicing in accounting means uh, he have a chief accountant access means he have to access uh, he can access each and everything okay if you we go to next preference tab here we can see the language time zone notification home action and a email signature and bot status okay let's discuss about it language as you know if <coughs> if we have uh, multiple languages uh, we can set a specific language for this uh, user which we are going to create this one and uh, times on handle by emails handle in order this notification means when we uh, send some uh, notes some quotation or anything um, if this user have access he will uh, receive in his notification here if we put here handle in order otherwise he will got by emails so both status here and the email signature here we can make home action means when this user which we are going to create this one after login he can redirect to which page search modify okay here is all pages or all parts we have if we set like suppose here after login this user can redirect to bill of material or bills let's say now when this user will log in automatically he will redirect to bills i'm going to remove this no need by default you came here in discussion or if you set a dashboard you will redirect to a dashboard so let's save this uh, user okay go back we have this testing user under this company yeah we can also change the company from here default company and allowed companies means if you have multi companies and uh, we have to um, give access in from here multi companies this one we will discuss later multi companies and access level and multi currencies multi unit or measurement multi branches so default company is my company San Francisco and allowed company only this one Okay, next step is groups. This one, as I told you before, it's uh, coming here because I active my developer mode. That's why it's coming here. So here is uh, already 85 um, groups available. Group means if you want to create, uh, let's say, three users with the separate permission, you want to give them uh, access only in accounting and other group uh, they have access in accounting but only for inter data so these group uh, creating for this purpose let's open and uh, it will clear small now this group mm, don't have any user here application for example, it's a technical. We 
choose here technical and this group is a shareable node here is a group name and then here's a user inherit this group is inherit within another group maybe and menus in this group you show which menus I'm talking about these menus these menus okay um, for example if we make here go to add a line and choose here a purchase purchase order request quotation okay select now only this menu will appear for this group same for views which view we can use same like uh, menus here also views permission available which view this group have access to see here is a uh, access right access right means if i go to uh, headline here will come the name what name you want to write here you have to choose a model uh, for let's say bill of material contract or here accounting okay journal entry or journal journal entry this journal entry they have access right uh, read write create and delete same we have to uh, choose a models names and give them a access right record record rules record rules record rules means uh, for this one is using for uh, read write create and delete we have to type a domain and the path itself of our api and uh, it's using for you have to uh, you can create a specific rule already i built 116 rules so notes you can write here and not okay make a discard and go to groups let's open so technical okay purchase in purchase by default our two modules uh, sorry two user available one which we choose test user this is going uh, come here because we choose in our group here yeah, to give him the access that's why it's coming here and inherit this purchase is inherit with purchase then user that's why this user is coming here which we created just now our test user in menus the menu which the user have access after that uh, views access right what access right uh, both of these user have then uh, record rules and in notes it's nothing here is a uh, group name and uh, here is the application which chose it's a, a by default which uh, auto provide you so if you want to create your own just go to here create and uh, fill the data and choose uh, access right and permissions as we discussed now so in this video tutorial we discussed user group uh, and uh, in the last video we already discussed about uh, companies in next uh, video tutorial we'll discuss about this uh, general setting and uh, translation technical uh, this one is a separate chapter uh, for developers when we develop uh, modules for custom module for auto then we'll discuss this technical